What's going on everybody? Patriot Stacker here. So, I got a little pickup from my LCS today and I'm really excited to show all you guys. We saw a little bit of a dip in the spot price today, so I uh, took advantage of that <laughs> a little bit. So, I really have been focusing on constitutional silver lately and I just wanted to keep building my, my junk silver stack. So, I decided to get $15 face value in constitutional 90% silver. We got some Merc Dimes, we got some Half Dollars, a nice little mix here. So, uh, you know, let's let's dive in here and I'll show you what I got. Uh, these are all 1940s, whole bunch of 1940s. These are 1930s, so it looks like I got 10 in the 30s. I got 10, 20, 30, 32 in the 40s. And then I got three here that are a little older. This one is a 1918. Pretty slick. You can't even get a mint mark off of it. I don't see anything. So, might be a 1918 Philly. This is a 1920-something, but I can't get a date off that either. Maybe a 25 or a 28. It's really hard to see. And I don't think this one has a... Oh, no, this did have a Denver mint mark. It's really faded. Really worn on there. So it's kind of hard to see. So it's a 20-something. And then this one, I believe... Oh, it's just another 30s. So we got 11 in the 30s, one in the 20s, one in the teens. Really cool. I got a whole bunch of half dollars. I got uh, $10 face value in half dollars. There was one barber, a 1906. It's pretty slick, but you can read the date, so that's good. And uh, pretty darn slick on the back, but we got a Denver Mint Mark. Pretty cool. I think that's a D. Unless it's a smushed O, but I think that's a D. Got a couple early walkers. Got a 1918. Also pretty slick and worn, but... And let's see here. That is... A San Francisco. You can see that. Pretty cool. 1918S. Very cool. I think this was... I think these are all 30s, right? Yeah. So we got a couple in the 30s and a couple in the 40s. We got some Benjis as well. We got a... a 1950. Not too bad. Nice earlier one. Got a 1954. We got a 57. A 59. Sorry, I'm not looking for mint marks right now. <laughs> Trying to go quick. 1961. I'll skip that one. This one's a 63. But this one was cool. This is an uncirculated one. Still nice and shiny. 1962, Philadelphia, it's always nice to get a little uh, uncirculated coin in the junk silver, and a pretty crusty 64 Kennedy, but still cool, right? Pretty excited, so I got $10 face value in half dollars, $5 face value in Mercury Dimes, 50 Mercury Dimes. So I was really excited about that. I really wanted to get some junk silver and I just pulled the trigger and got a bunch. So I was really happy. Um, I did also pick up some maples. Very nice. Four nines, fine, one ounce. These are uh, 2013s, and they're in good condition. 
they were actually they uh they had a whole tube of them a mint tube of 2013 so i just picked up two had a great deal on them so i couldn't pass it up yeah they're both i believe they're both 2013 yep so that's cool i'm glad to get a couple more maples and then of course they had one set aside for me i was so happy that they had something a 2011 libertad from mexico my favorite great condition just i love these coins so the last one I got from them was really toned up, and this one is pretty perfect. So we got a 2011 Libertad. Very cool. And then another funny thing, so I went to the ATM before I went to my LCS, and I got a couple, uh, I got some money out of the ATM, and look what I got. A $50 star note with a interesting serial number. It could have been cool. 012... Five six zero nine four. If there was a three instead of that zero, I don't know. A little different combination. It could have been a like a ladder zero one two three four five six something like that. But it's a star note on a fifty. So I actually ended up holding on to it just for now. I threw it in this little this little protective sleeve because I wanted to show all you folks, and I just thought it was pretty funny that. On the way to the LCS, I get some money, and I get a star note out of the ATM on a 50. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. We'll see. I have a handful of other star notes, but they're all uh, $1 and $5. And I just hold on to those for now. But, I'm really excited about my pickup today. All this junk silver. Really stoked to get a nice variety of stuff. Barbers, Walkers, Benjis, Kennedy whole bunch of Merc Dimes, and of course, a nice Libertad, and some Maples, pretty awesome, pretty, pretty excited about this, this pickup today, so, um, that's pretty much it, you know, I, I took advantage of that dip, you know, we saw it drop down to $22 and change, which was awesome, I think it was 23 and change when I picked this stuff up, but uh, my LCS is really cool about whatever they open the day at is what they're, they stick to. So it was $18 times face value for junk silver today. And I thought that was a great price. Really excited about that. And these were um, $3 over spot. Uh, $3, I think. Yeah. 3 or $4 over spot. So not bad at all. Really excited. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy my pickup today. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. And please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos all about silver stacking, coin collecting, precious metals, and all that fun stuff. And please ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload videos daily. And as always, folks, have a great day.